Cornwall who were in the audience over there somewhere. <laughs> and also my wonderful co-writer, Veronica Tafilsko, who's there. Um, and, and there's uh, anyone else who is here who worked on the film, maybe to jump away for something. Anyway, you're all here, thank you. Um, okay, so, uh, please welcome to the stage, what order am I going in? Um, uh, Jenna Malone. <laughs> This is a, an amazing film, as all of you just witnessed. Um, I will ask a couple of questions first. Um, I am curious about the influence of Americana, America, in this film, uh, especially from you, Rose. I wonder if you could say a bit more about that. I mean, I think in the very, very earliest version of the idea, we were thinking of in Scotland, which I think would have been quite a different film. Um, and then quite quickly, I think, as me and Vera were developing the story, it just didn't seem to fit. Um, and I don't know, the backdrop of America just seemed to fit well with this story. And I guess the scale of it or something. Um, but I guess, you know, I'm English, Vera's Polish, we both live in London, so probably it's a slightly skewed... European version of America, <laughs> for it being influenced by omnipresent influence of American film and TV and our imaginations. I think your cast is fantastic, and uh, wow. too. <laughs> and each each actor just embodies the character you've created so precisely. It just seems like maybe you had certain actors in mind. I'm, I'm wondering about the casting process and uh, what was in your head as you were creating these characters. I mean, uh, so, so Kristen was in my head very early on writing the script, I think as soon as we moved it from Scotland to America. <laughs> Kristen came up that <laughs> you can do the accent. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so I was like, <laughs> come back! <laughs> um, so, pictured her. <laughs> I'm cool, cool. <laughs> Delirium. Um, yeah, so it was Mary Kristen. Uh, so, was very much hoping that she'd say yes, and thank God she did. So that was, that was sorted. And, um, I mean, everyone else, I don't know where to start. I mean, we... I really don't know where to start. Um, Katie, I mean, the, you know, Jackie we just knew was going to be... I mean, I naively blundered into it thinking that this would, it would be straightforward to find someone who can do everything we needed this character to do and perform as my band, be a bodybuilder, um, and turns out it's really hard. Um, so Betty May, our amazing casting director's scout. <laughs> Yeah, we, and, you know, it was a, a long and nerve-wracking thing, and, and then Katie appeared, and it was uh, felt pretty miraculous, and, and we got the two of these guys together fairly not too long before we started shooting. It all felt quite we all sort of like thrown in it together. I mean, we didn't really even rehearse too much, um, and I mean, I, yeah. Sorry, I'm waffling. All the cast, everyone just <laughs> threw themselves into it. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> would love to hear from some of the actors on uh, what, what 
what you thought when you read Rosie's script. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a hard time just acting normal. I'm just still so incredibly moved by the film. I'm <laughs> just like, I think it's really okay. It's so beautiful, powerful to see it with an incredible audience. And um, I mean, it was the best script I ever, I ever read, you know? It, was, it really was, I mean, hands down. I know that things transform, but it's, um, it's, it's such a beautiful film. I think it's really going to... Just let it sink in. It's going to take a little bit, but whew, I'm overwhelmed. I'm in awe. I think the performances are so incredible. I am so moved. Um, that's all I have to say. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! I read it, and I thought, this is objectively the biggest fucking asshole of all time, and I need to play this role. <laughs> uh, but no, I, why I love Rose is um, in our initial conversations, we talked about like, okay, yes, this guy is terrible, but like, why is he like that? You know, what happened to him in his childhood? He probably experienced his own violence and now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I was gonna say, uh, we were not doing it in a way to bring sympathy towards gay <laughs> day. But you, it just gave me. You did us a service, and I, 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 I love the man in you. <laughs> no, no, I was actually just trying to be. That, that was like, please keep going. Right there, like really low I didn't realize it would be like a lineup. Yeah. Like in the back of my mugshot. Um, I reading the script, I, it was. It was incredible, it was unique. Um, the ending was a little predictable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 okay. <laughs> Context pretty good. Um, I, it, it was scary and uh, kind of true and, and just, I don't know, it was unbelievable. I couldn't believe that somebody had actually put this together. And then uh, I, I felt like if I didn't get the part, I don't, I, I was gonna freak out. I said I would riot, which for me would be like moping around or something. <laughs> I mean, maybe one thing to say is that um, I guess everybody on here just also really like took kind of a risk because it's sort of, I mean, I'm glad you guys liked it, um, but it, you know, kind of do some ridiculous stuff. And they, I just knew it had to be grounded in sort of performances that just felt very real and lived in and sort of like balance out the craziness. And I don't know, you guys just, everyone just sort of like went with it and never kind of looked at me going, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which is a nice feeling. I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about we take some more questions from the audience? <laughs> Yes. Yes, you. Listen to the director. Yeah, we're not the one, the ones holding that. You know, I mean, I, I will say the script was like totally different. Yeah, it's like kind of like she's such a sculptor. Do you know what I mean? I definitely trusted her when she was like, go in, go berserk, or like, you know, be real in this moment. I think it all came from a place of like discovery and love, and you know, tell yourself any story to justify loving something. We all have these horrible little monsters in here. Um, what are they? Like, I'm so curious about it. Like, when, we, when we first started really rehearsing and talking about stuff, I was like, Rose, do you like, what are you like? What? I'm so, whoa, I have so many questions. I still am like mining for those details, but yeah. 
the hardest part is becoming 35 feet tall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of training, time, stretching. How you fast? Yeah. Uh, I I used to compete, so it wasn't that hard, especially because I didn't have to really do much. Um, like. I didn't have to weigh my food anymore. You know, it was great. Someone else did that. It was awesome. Um, and then I just got to like pop it in the microwave and eat it. And then I had a trainer write out all my, my plans. So all I had to do was just go home and do it. Um, so it's kind of like what I would probably be doing after set anyway, except maybe not as long. Um, yeah, that's it. It's like hire a trainer. Otherwise, it just sucks. <laughs> Were you going to say something else? No, I mean, I was just going to emphasize, like, you know, he was obviously doing a full shoot, and then it's just insane that Katie was just going and then training three hours every day on top of that. So thank you very much for doing that. What was really cool is that, like, Oliver, one of the producers, came and worked out with me sometimes, and my buddy George, like, I had people, like, support from the set, too. People wanted to come and train with me. One of our uh, props girls was like, a mad power lifter, so I go with power lifter, yeah, Xena. Um, yeah, she's really strong. So, I mean, it was really cool to have people who are like, you know, they're working just as hard as I am, uh, if not way harder on set, come and train with me after too. So it was a really cool supportive environment, and I, I did not do it alone, so. Well, I have to say, you all, each and every one of you have killed it in this film, and I am so happy that you brought it here to Sundance. Thank you for being here, and congratulations.